Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's do a narrated video on this drawing of Sylvester Stallone as Rocky Balboa fighting against Mr. T as Clubber Lang in Rocky 3. I already did a time-lapse video for this drawing but now I'm going to use this opportunity to talk a little bit more about the drawing and the movies. This is my sketch, done with a graphite pencil as usual, and my reference photo is in the top left corner. And now a few words about the composition and the size of the paper and things like that. The size of the paper is about 9 times 12 inches, and as you will see I will make certain changes in comparison to the reference photo. I uh, decided to move certain things just a little bit, but I was pretty happy. Uh, with the scene, so I didn't really change the composition much. I mostly simplified certain things, and uh, the scene is also a little bit darker with a lot of contrast. I wanted to uh, create a little bit lighter uh, drawing with a little bit less contrast so that you can make out more of the detail. I also left out uh, some things, but like I said, I'll mostly stick to my reference photo here. So uh, the Clubber, Clubber Lang, uh, or Mr. T, is on the left, and I'm starting with him and his peculiar hairstyle and sideburns. And as for my tools, I used my usual tools. I used woodless charcoal pencils. But in addition to those, I will also be using vine charcoal extensively in this drawing. I believe that this combination can make uh, working with charcoal a lot easier because, as I've mentioned many times before, uh, woodless charcoal pencils are very similar to compressed charcoal in terms of their properties so uh, they are dark and they can be sharpened pretty well but uh, they are not quite as easy to blend or remove as vine charcoal that's why combining vine charcoal with charcoal pencils is a good idea. Anyway, as you may know, if you watch the Rocky movies, this is from Rocky 3, The Eye of the Tiger. Now, when I made that uh, original time-lapse video for this drawing, I actually included uh, the original melody. Well, not the original, but it was performed by another YouTuber, but I still uh, got a copyright claim for it, so I just decided to remove uh, or rather replace the melody. So I'm not too happy about that, but it is what it is. And now I'm doing this narrative video. Uh, what I'm doing now is using a little bit of charcoal powder left over from sharpening my woodless charcoal pencils and I'm just throwing it down on my paper and spreading it around with a soft brush although I could have used a larger one for this because it doesn't appear to be covering a very large area but that's fine we'll get there but you can see that I already did a nice bit of work on Clubber Lang even though his face will still need a little bit of more shading because not only do I have to worry about lightness I also um, want to make it look like his forehead and face is glistening with sweat because of the uh, reflections from those lights in the back so I'm gonna have to work on that a lot more but I'm pretty happy with his expression uh, because in this scene, as you can, as you can see, um, Rocky is delivering a body punch, a body shot, and uh, 
Mr. T is uh, making a painful expression. Uh, this was probably taken from the part of the movie where uh, Rocky started to th turn things around in the rematch and started winning. <laughs> As you know, if you watch the movie, uh, Rocky lost the first fight quite easily. And then he teamed up with Apollo, uh, who helped him train and get his motivation back to prepare for the fight. It was a pretty good sequel. Most of these Rocky movies are pretty good. I already did a couple of drawings of Sylvester Stallone as Rocky. I did uh, several of his portraits and also a drawing of him uh, of him facing uh, Ivan Drago or Dolph Lundgren in Rocky IV and I'll put the link to to that uh, drawing as well because that video was very popular and I'm I kind of regret now that I didn't do a narrated version of that video as well but sadly I uh, no longer have the footage and um, even the original time-lapse misses is missing a few a few parts here and there because I didn't record all of that but I recorded mo recorded mo most of it I think it's a decent time lapse with some nice music so you should check it out here as you can see I started using vine charcoal now a couple of words uh, on combining vine, vine charcoal with compressed charcoal. I don't know if I've talked about this before but um, in addition to the fact that you can easily move the vine charcoal around and uh, you can use it for the areas which need to be blended more smoothly. Another thing you can do is uh, when you've already applied compressed charcoal or charcoal from a woodless charcoal pencil and you're not happy with the way the area is blending because it's you you're getting too much texture and you're finding that it can't be blended very smoothly you can just apply vine charcoal over it and it'll make it smoother not just because it's evening out the value but because the dust from vine charcoal will actually uh, go into the paper and help you move even that compressed charcoal around a little bit and make everything a little bit smoother. So you can use vine charcoal not just as a tool for drawing and shading but also for blending. And the combination of these two tools was especially important here because uh, Mr. T obviously has a much darker skin than Rocky plus he is uh, all the way to the left away from the light source so his, he is going to be a lot darker anyway and to show his anatomy I need a lot of contrast and I need a lot of these darker areas but I also need to try to make smoother transitions to to show the proper shape of his muscles and uh, not to make the texture of his skin look weird and too grainy and that's why uh, a combination of these uh, two types of charcoal was so useful because I used uh, comp compressed charcoal from woodless charcoal pencils for the darkest areas and I used vine charcoal uh, for the somewhat less darker areas and midtones 
and where possible I even left out uh, reserved those white spaces for my highlights and if I needed to go back in and clean up some of these highlights like I'm doing now I did that uh, with an eraser with a pencil eraser so there are some points of high contrast here where I need to really erase nearly all of it and now I'm moving on to the gloves and here I had to do a little bit of simplifying because I couldn't really uh, make out all of the uh, detail and I'm not really um, an expert on boxing gear so I just did the best I could based on my reference photo but this area gave me a little bit of trouble I think and the same thing with uh, Rocky's uh, left arm as well so sometimes uh, sometimes even though you have a nice reference photo uh, when you start drawing you, you find that you need to make certain changes and adapt to your medium now here you can see I'm drawing those uh, lights in the background and my approach is very simple I'm just gonna leave the white of the paper in the middle and shade around it first with a totillion to give myself uh, an idea where the lights are and then with brushes to get those uh, transitions to be very very smooth so here I'm also covering a little bit of the background with a combination of both my uh, compressed charcoal and fine charcoal and I'm gonna start to move in closer to these lights and see if I can uh, really make them look shiny and uh, make them stand out from the background but to do that like I said everything around them needs to be darker and the very edge uh, mustn't be clean there mustn't be any texture there so I need to make that transition very very smooth the same thing goes for the gloves which are kinda shining shiny and reflective in some parts both because they're made of leather and because uh, obviously uh, there's sweat on them and uh, there's a lot of reflected light from those lights so I need to leave out those white areas there as well then to have a lot of contrast there here's the part which I had to simplify a little bit because I didn't I couldn't make out all of the details here uh, around these gloves uh, around the left glove and because it's facing away from the light source I couldn't leave it completely white I had to shade over it a little bit so whenever you're drawing anything especially a complex scene like this it's important to remember where the light is coming from well, the, the thing that makes, uh, makes it more complicated here is that there are multiple light sources here. So now I'm trying to uh, work on the edges around, the, around those gloves and uh, trying to make them cleaner and now I'm moving on to the, to the face and like I said I want to make it look like his uh, face and forehead is sweating so I need a lot of contrast there but th at the same time I have to uh, try to somehow create an illusion of uh, drops of sweat so I decided that I was just going to scribble a little bit with my charcoal pencil and not blend too much so that I could create some texture 
I'm also going back to uh, his body and the and the face and uh, just making certain things a little bit darker as I see fit and trying to clean up the edge uh, of the face, the forehead and the nose because I want a cleaner edge with the background. Uh, you can also see that I added a few uh, white dots around his mouth like he is uh, spitting out some saliva or maybe some sweat is flying from his face as he's getting punched so all of this has the purpose of making the scene more realistic and visceral I am at this point pretty happy with the face and the body and I'm moving on to the trunks these are going to be fairly dark so not much detail there uh, just the band around the waist that's, gonna, that's going to need a little bit more work and a little bit more shading I need to add some more detail here and I decided to do this with a tutillion rather than a pencil because I want it to be very light and uh, not to produce any uh, lines so I kind of smudged that a little bit and just to have some suggestions of these uh, folds in the band and I uh, did the same thing with my pencil eraser and also trying to make the left side uh, a little bit darker to stay consistent with the light source here you can see I'm using my pencil eraser to clean up some of the edges as well as add some uh, some highlights basically putting down some finishing touches on Clover Lang before I move on to Rocky or Sylvester Stallone as usual his hair is a bit of a mess so I'm going to tackle that first and I'm going to want to have some highlights on that hair which stand out against the background so that part is going to be a little bit tricky I do like the angle uh, from which this photo was taken it's a perfect angle for a body shot that's why I picked this reference photo you can see how here and there I'm using my vine charcoal to make the background smoother and how I used my brush to make the area around the lights smoother and how I made those edges around them very blurry and soft so now I'm moving on to Sylvester's facial feature features and I'm starting to shade a little bit first very tentatively with a tutillion even though I know that I'll have to cover uh, most of his face and that his face uh, which is getting a little bit less light than Clubber's is going to be almost as dark especially on the left side but we'll see
also to make things more complicated uh, he has a grimace uh, uh, an expression like he's putting in a lot of physical effort which obviously changes the expression and in addition to that he has some swelling and uh, some bruises so uh, getting likeness here was a little bit challenging but it's important to be patient and of course his raised lips are probably uh, some of his most char characteristic features so I had to incorporate that as well There are many good things about this reference photo and I think eventually about my drawing. I think that this drawing is uh, far superior to the uh, Rocky Drago one, which I already sold. I didn't sell this one yet, but I think this one is better even though it's a little bit smaller. Um, I just uh, like the I like the movement and I like the facial expressions and uh, I like the emotion and the uh, the violence of it. It's a pretty good scene with a pretty good reference photo to work from. Naturally, because uh, Rocky's first opponent was Apollo, I will need to draw. Uh, I, I'll need to draw one of him and Apollo because it wouldn't be right to do a drawing of Rocky and Ivan Drago and Clubber Lang without eventually drawing. A uh, fight between uh, Rocky and Apollo, which started this whole series, or franchise rather. Here I'm adding a little bit more value to the background. So as you can see, the background is darker and everything is moving towards the, those light sources and getting gradually a little bit lighter. And it's getting darker and more dim towards the, to, towards the edges away from the light source. Uh, here, like I said, I'm pretty happy with Rocky's facial expression and uh, I'm just doing a little more additional shading. I also think that his hair looks pretty good, but I will be adding a few details here and there. Here I think I maybe overshaded his uh, chin a little bit, so it looks like he's unshaven, but I will fix it. Sometimes things can appear uh, too dark when you haven't shaded the area around it enough, but when you shade the area around it, it becomes a lot lighter. And sometimes you just make, made something too dark and you need to take away a little bit of the value either by using a kneaded eraser or a, or a pencil eraser. But so far so good. Another challenge that I had here was with Rocky's uh, right arm, which is delivering that uh, body shot. Um, because of the angle, uh, it looked kind of it looked kind of weird and a little bit too long. So I, uh, even though I had to stick to my reference photo, I had to make certain adjustments, not to make that arm look too huge in comparison to the rest of the body.
even though I think uh, when the rest of his body is done uh, it will make a lot more sense because of the angle of viewing which is slightly from below that's why the head is looking a little bit smaller now in comparison to the arm and the hand but when I draw the rest of the body it will probably make a lot more sense uh, so now I'm starting to work on Rocky's anatomy and using a similar approach using my woodless charcoal pencil to draw some of the darker areas to show his muscles and then using uh, my blending tools and vine charcoal to uh, make some softer tones and to to create nice mid tones and here I'm just adding a few more details I need to work a little bit more on this bicep and to make the area around the armpit and uh, under the bicep a little bit darker but, but you can see the, the the very top of the bicep is lighter because it's facing the light source and now you can see that I'm adding some of these uh, veins and stuff to make the arms more muscular and veiny but I started talking about uh, the the arms and the light source so the bicep which is facing to the light source its top part is lighter but you can also see that the lower part of the arm just uh, under the tricep is also a little bit lighter uh, that's because uh, because of the reflected light which is coming around and uh, throwing a little bit of light on that lower portion of the arm as well uh, so now I'm doing his large uh, pectoral muscles and I already left, uh, left some of the areas white where his skin will be glistening I'm going to do the same thing with the gloves. Um, when blending, I'm using a combination of brushes and tutelians, and I'm also using tutelians for sketching and uh, drawing when there's some charcoal on them and I use tutelians for drawing when I don't feel like using a pencil because pencils can leave marks which can leave texture which can be difficult to remove or erase but tutelians uh, create much softer lines which is what I want sometimes Now on to the stomach and the abs. So here I also need to create a little bit of the contrast with the traps and the background. And, and this left arm and the background. And you can see how much smoother the vine charcoal is making the background. So vine charcoal can be a really nice addition to your charcoal drawings. Here you can see that I'm trying to make the the abs are a little bit darker so that the highlights would stand out on them a little bit more 
obviously I want to make everything look 3D like it has volume I also want to create depth that's why I need a range of value that's why I need these dark gray areas that's why I need highlights and now to the trunks and the belt shading the background on the right of Rocky's body so vine charcoal is really allowing me to cover large areas very quickly also can't forget the nipples obviously they are a part of anatomy as well You can see how nicely I managed to clean up some of these highlights on the chest and on the abs as well. I want everything to look uh, veiny and muscular and I want it to look like he's really straining and trying to hit as hard as he can. So far I'm pretty happy with both the the body posture and uh, the facial expression and these veins here as, as well. I'm also going to add a few more drops of, I don't know, sweat or saliva here and there. To make it look like sweat is uh, falling all over the place as they're fighting. put a few more here as well I shouldn't overdo it this is probably enough but I think it's a nice touch that adds a little bit to the scene Maybe a few more here, uh, wherever there are body parts moving and wherever there is contact between the two of them, maybe. So that's probably enough, I don't want to make it look like it's snowing or like it's some kind of a starry sky. Anyway, just a little bit more work on the abs here. So again, trying to shade around the bicep a little bit to define it a little bit better on this other arm as well. And 
blending this here with the tutili and a brush. this area of the forearm is really dark because it's looking away from the light source and not getting getting very little light but I need more value here so that I can have a clean red between the background and uh, and the arm can't have it too light though Just trying to make that bicep stand out a little bit more. Adding some more vine charcoal and some more stuff, some more shading to the forearm. And some more detail to the gloves. I also want to sh show these shapes in the gloves. And now these stripes. I'm trying to make their shape a little bit irregular, like they're uh, following the shape and the folds in the trunks. I'm just adding suggestions of those folds using a brush, just using the charcoal that was laid down there. It's pretty simple. And then going back in to draw some of the highlights with a pencil eraser. I can also go back in and try to clean up some of the uh, raised parts on that on those trunks. So this is pretty much it. Uh, I wasn't sure where, where to sign the drawing initially. So eventually I decided that if I signed it here on the right, it, the signature wouldn't be on, in the way and it wouldn't be too distracting. So now the drawing is pretty much done. I removed the tape and sprayed it with a lot of fixative because vine charcoal can be easy to lift up. So I hope you enjoyed this narrated video as well. Uh, if you didn't watch the time lapse video, go check that out. And I'll also put links to my other Rocky Sylvester Stallone drawings. Thank you for watching this, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.